Hi, this is Phil and uh, today uh, I'm gonna make a small presentation of uh, what you can do with the elite version of the expiring landing page. Now the big difference between the regular version and the elite version is that the regular version you can use or you can only use your uh, own pages that you want to present and with the elite version you can use somebody else's pages meaning you can copy somebody else's URL and you can also make some changes to it before uh, it's showing up um, now why would you need that? well uh, it's very interesting and uh, it's very uh, useful to be able to use somebody else page if you want to do some direct linking and direct linking sometimes is uh, not always very easy uh, if we have things like uh, exit pop-ups sounds and uh, things like that so I'm going to show you what we can do against those kind of things so let's pick up a product that we want to direct link to Let's go to Clickbank Marketplace. And I'm sure the e business category has uh, a lot of pop ups. Okay, let's take this one. check it so what do we have we have a video prepare to be shocked huh. it's been four long years since I've been making money online in that okay so we have a landing page that makes a sound so if you want to uh, run a campaign using uh, CPV like media traffic you won't allowed to use this. You won't be allowed to use this landing page because uh, sounds and music and text are not allowed because they run in the background. Uh, what else we have? That looks all okay. Oh yes, the other problem we have is if we want to go to another page we get an exit pop-up wait before you go click the cancel download click the cancel I don't want to stay on this page I want to leave this page and what happens <laughs> you get you get it again it's been full. Leave. Okay, so you know, then you see what I mean. Uh, if you're using uh, AdWords or traffic vans or all kind of uh, traffic, uh, you you won't be able to direct link to that uh, offer, even if you iframe it or something like that. So. For that, you can use the expiring landing page elite. And how are you going to do that? You're going to create a small configuration page. So, first, we're going to go back to the page. I'm going to see and note all the things where we want to change on that page. So Prepare to be shocked. It's been four long years since I've been making money online. We need sound. We need to change the exit cover. And also, what we want to change is uh, the affiliate code. Well, because uh, we don't have an affiliate code here. And of course, if we are going to direct link, we would like to have our affiliate code there. 
So we're going to make that change also. Let's take a look at the source. Prepare to be shot. View source. Okay, now the sound. Auto play. Here you have all parameters for the video. You see MP4 video. And here it says auto play is true. So we're going to change that. Going to copy this into my notepad. Or I can already put it in here. This we're going to change, and we're going to change this to not true but false. So this is for the video. Next, we're going to look for the exit pop up. usually at the end ok, here we see exit splash code and wait before you go do -do 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 -do, you can get this free guide well, what we need to change is the JavaScript code it's being called and you can see that's the code that's gonna create our pop-up so we're gonna put that in our configuration and we're gonna replace this by something empty next we need to have our affiliate code in there and well there are several ways you can do this you can cookie stuff or you can do it nicely and that's uh, put your affiliate ID here this code I'm going to change this to our affiliate ID I don't know if you notice this this here it's telling me that traffic boss is the vendor ID and this affit ID is uh, my affiliate ID it could be something else but Let's use this as uh, our code. Okay, so we have three changes in our uh, source. Of course, I have to update the source. And so. Let's not forget this, that's uh, pretty important. Oops. So, what are we going to do? This is our source landing page. It's this one. And we're going to change true to false. We're going to change the JavaScript to nothing. And we're going to change all the uh, payment. Uh, links to payment links with our affiliate ID now there are other things you could change like uh, you could change the, uh, the forms of a squeeze page you can change uh, like I 
I've seen here there are other codes you could change here there's probably also uh, Google code, Google Analytics code that you can change. It's just a number. Google Analytics, you see here. There's a code. You could change that to your own code and then uh, you would see uh, uh, your own uh, analytics uh, data instead of uh, giving some to the vendor. Uh, now let's see. Let's uh, save our configuration. Let's call it ClickBank Traffic Configuration. And now let's see if uh, it works. I'm going to call my code. Let's steal from the other. Okay, this is our page. The video. The video is not starting, right? It's loading, but it's not starting. And if we go to the ClickBank payment, we'll see our affiliate ID here, exactly what we want. The page has expired, so let's let's go back. And create a new one. But as you can see, I 